This is it. The finals of the Skyway Short Circuit Hypercar Tournament. Eight cars, some of the most powerful automobiles in history, took to the short circuit, marking the very first tournament on this track. Now, we've upped the ante for the finals. Best of seven races wins it all. Now let's reintroduce ourselves to the finalists of the Skyway Short Circuit Hypercar Tournament. Congratulations, Jean-Marc Leblou, driving in Lucifer, that Lycan Hypersport weighing 51.6 grams. Congratulations, Baron Zapp, driving The Whale, a Bugatti Chiron weighing 49.6 grams. Baron Zapp currently holds the track time record of 6 seconds 54, whereas Jean-Marc Leblou's best time is 6 seconds 59. That's a difference of 5 hundredths of a second. That's the kind of race we're about to see. And they're off, completely in sync. Zapp edging ahead, steady through the ultra-wide, down the drop. Zapp rages ahead, his lead grows through the splits, and Baron Zapp takes race one by a whole length of a straightaway. They ride in tandem through the opening chicane. It looks like a fair fight, but even on the outside, Baron Zapp can creep into the lead, and once he hits the drop, it's all over. For whoever's starting in the outer lane, the drop really is the best chance to take back the race, or at least level the playing field. Now remember, the first driver to win four races wins it all. Jean-Marc Leblou now on the outside. He's got to punch it right away. If Zapp can snag the lead, riding on the outside of the ultra-wide, imagine what he can do on the inside. And they're off. LeBlou charges through the chicane. Here comes Zap down the drop, and he's out of here. LeBlou regains, but it's too late. And Baron Zap takes race two. I'll never get used to the speed of Baron Zap. Now, if the opening section of the circuit requires agility, then from the drop to the finish, it's all about stability. And we've seen the tragedies in this tournament already. And yet, Baron Zap is relentless in his acceleration, fearless, reaching for the finish every moment. Baron Zap halfway there, Jean-Marc Leblou could benefit from a miracle and a tragedy, yes that's sure, but if he could only access that speed from his round one performance of 6 seconds 59, that would be enough, and then some, to rival Zap's performance in this final round. Leblou has got to take advantage on the inside, Zap edges ahead, down the drop and it's all over, Baron Zap with a commanding lead, an entire straightaway ahead of Jean-Marc Leblou. Honestly, what can be said, Zap has now won three races in a row, in fact, Baron Zapp has prevailed completely undefeated throughout the entirety of the tournament. No driver has ever won every race in a tournament, and with one race left standing between him and victory, we may just see a perfect run at the Skyway Short Circuit. Baron Zapp set now on the inside, once again, ready to make history. And they're off. LeBlou and Zap neck and neck. Zap swings on the inside, taking the lead. And with LeBlou nowhere in sight, he's done it. Baron Zap takes race four. Baron Zap is your champion of the Skyway Short Circuit Hypercar Tournament. John Mark LeBlou, always and forever will you be a symbol of speed in the legacy of the Skyway. It just simply doesn't happen that a driver wins every race in a tournament. A record immaculate, completely undefeated, Baron Zapp is a special kind of champion. Thank you so much for joining us for the inaugural tournament at the Skyway Short Circuit. Now this track is just temporary, but before we move on we thought we'd open it up to a few invited guests to try their hand on the Skyway Short Circuit.